once you've got your MIDI file loaded into BandLab, you still have a little work to do. Now, your MIDI file is going to look a lot different from my MIDI file unless we've downloaded the same MIDI file, but they're going to have the, some things in common that I want you to look at. So when I hit play, I'm going to hear that there are several parts that are doubling. What I mean by that is that they will have the same part. Let's have a listen. I can already tell by listening and looking that two of these parts are the same. Take a look at the electric piano and the drawbar organ. I'm seeing a little bit of a shape there that I see in both sections. So let's listen to the drawbar organ and the electric piano. Those parts are both playing bass parts. So I am going to label those as bass parts. And you should too in your example. Now, as you listen, you're going to hear that there's melody and chords also throughout your project. And I want you to find all of those parts and label them. So let's see what this vibraphone part is doing. It's, it's not playing just yet, but I'm going to move up there and see what it's doing. I'm just going to solo it and, and listen to it. Right, that is the melody. I know the melody, so I'm going to label that as melody. Now, looking at the shape, I can tell that that melody, it looks like it's up here and up here and up here. So let's start at the top and see what else is playing the melody. I'm just going to solo this part. These are both melody parts. So it's important that you go through it's important that you go through your project and find all these melody parts. So I'm seeing in here that there's a melody part too. Let's just solo that. But it looks like there's two parts in there. Now you'll remember in our last project we made a little harmony that's kind of like having chords. That is melody as well, but it's harmonized. That is, there are two parts doing it. So I'm going to call that harmony and you should too. So you'll know you have a harmony part when it follows the shape of the melody. That is, it goes up and it goes down, but it isn't the same notes as the melody. It's similar notes that support the melody, kind of like when we did chords. But if you'll remember when we did chords, we just played a big, uh, all those notes all at the same time. That's different than harmony. So let's hear this next part in here. That is an ex that's a perfect example of harmony right there. Let me play this harmony part along with this melody part. You're going to hear that this melody part up top is the familiar White Christmas melody. And this synth strings 2 down here is going to follow the same shape, but it's not going to be the same notes. But they are going to match. That's harmony. <laughs> Okay, so that's harmony as well. And let's see what's going on over here with my synth strings. That is also harmony. So I'm going to call this harmony 3. Checking out the next part. it would appear that that is also bass. So I now have three bass parts, two melody parts, and three harmony parts in this piece. The one thing that I don't have in here is any chords. I don't have a piano playing chords like we did in the beginning of the school year when I showed you how to play the one, four, and five chords on, on the keyboard. We don't have anyone doing that. We don't have any guitar parts. All of the harmony that we're getting, the richness of the sound, is out of individual notes that are sounding together. So there's really no need for a piano player. There's no need for a guitar player. All of the stringed instruments are harmonizing together. So go ahead and label all of your parts and then go on to the next section.